he is um, being the kind of leader that people need, at least in tone. While people are worrying about how they're going to pay their utilities, their rent, their mortgage, even food, the response from both Democrats and Republicans has been inadequate. But that hasn't stopped CNN's Dana Bash from praising Donald Trump for showing the correct tone. <laughs> you got to watch this video. Uh, it is incredible. And I'm also going to follow this up showing you what Donald Trump has been saying the past several months compared to what he just recently said and how he just scored himself in his response on this uh, virus. So first, you got to watch this. It is just masterful in its absurdity. This was remarkable from the President of the United States. This is a nonpartisan, this is um, an important thing to note uh, and to applaud from an American standpoint, from, an, from a human standpoint. He is um, being the kind of leader that people need, at least in tone, today and yesterday, right. in tone that people need and want and yearn for in times of crisis and uncertainty. So we are, we've been talking about a lot of the specifics that they brought up today, whether it's construction companies asking them to give masks to, uh, to, to, to hospitals, the fact that they are thinking about $1,000, perhaps the Andrew Yang idea to people, but big picture, the fact that the president has been, you know, convinced to be different, whether it was Chris Christie's op-ed asking him to do it, whether it was Newt Gingrich sitting in Italy watching firsthand what's happening, or the, his friends at Fox News who have changed their tone, you know, all, probably all of the above is what happened. But it is so important uh, to hear him strike that tone of calm and of understanding of how incredibly uh, dire this is. And the fact that he even said on the notion of people going out, uh, somebody asked about, well, what about, you know, people of all generations going out when they shouldn't? And he said they, they shouldn't. And uh, they're actually performing self-policing that they're right. telling, you know, they're trying to, it's peer pressure. Right. They're peer telling pressure. people not to do it. Right. I mean, that's pretty incredible from a guy who a couple of days ago was trying to downplay this to keep the economy going. Right. Cable news. <laughs> Such garbage. Uh, this, is, this is unbelievable. Data bash. This is a direct quote. Big picture. Big picture. Let's talk about tone. The big picture is the tone of Donald Trump. That's big picture is tone. That's what matters. I mean, like, I could be president and I would impress Dana Bash just by reading off a piece of paper. It's insane. How low does the bar have to be where if as long as you're not going crazy and calling out uh, other politicians or calling out the media or whatever the hell it is, it's the tone. Like right right now, my tone would be unacceptable, unacceptable. The fact that I'm angry that people are not going to be able to pay their rent, their mortgage, their utilities, whatever it is to, or, or for food. I, I'm being unreasonable here. My, my tone is not the correct tone. The correct tone is is to stay calm, just read off a piece of paper. It doesn't matter what you're saying. It doesn't matter what you're doing. What matters, big picture, <laughs> is the tone. <laughs> just, <laughs> this is this is the media in a nutshell. They're, they are so obsessed with decorum, so obsessed with just being kind to each other. How about actual, what they are actually doing? Is it enough for people? And it is not enough. Now, I have to show you because even if you're just judging Donald Trump based on tone, this happened this morning. He called the uh, coronavirus the Chinese virus. <laughs> How's that for tone? The Chinese virus. This is today, the same day Dana Bash is praising Trump's tone. Um, also within the past 24 hours. Trump gives himself a perfect 10 out of 10 score on his coronavirus response. <laughs> Striking the right tone here, he gave himself a perfect score. Uh, but it gets better. I want to. I got two videos to show you here. Two more videos. I'm going to show you this, <laughs> and then I'm going to show you the reality of the past several months. First, here is uh, Trump uh, talking about how he's always known how serious the coronavirus is. 
Some people did note that your tone seemed more somber yesterday. You talked about that August timeline. Did you see a projection? Some people thought perhaps that two million potentially that could die maybe prompted part of that. Was there a shift in tone? I didn't think, I mean, I have seen that where people uh, actually liked it, but I didn't feel different. I've always known this is a, this is a real, this is a pandemic. I felt it was a pandemic long before it was called a pandemic. All you had to do is look at other countries. I think now it's in almost 120 countries all over the world. Uh, no, I've always viewed it as very serious. There was no difference yesterday from days before. I feel the tone is similar, but uh, some people said it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> First of all, the question. Of course, the question's also about tone. Very, the media is very obsessed with tone. People are dying. People can't afford their rent payments, can't afford their bills. What matters? The tone. People thought you struck the right tone yesterday. Uh, this is unbelievable. But <laughs> even what Trump is saying here. Oh, I've always known, always known this was a pandemic from the very beginning. Okay, how about we watch... This. So this was put out by um, uh, fellow Americans. This is a 501c4 social welfare, uh, social welfare organization. Um, they put this 30-second ad out. This is incredible. So <laughs> let's see if Trump has been calling this, uh, you know, a very serious issue, uh, a pandemic this entire time. The coronavirus. This is their new hoax. We have it totally under control. It's one person coming in from China. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. And we only have 15 people, and they're getting better. I think we're doing a really good job in this country at keeping it down. Anybody that needs a test can have a test. And the tests are all perfect. This blindsided the world. I don't take responsibility at all. All right. I always knew. I always knew. <laughs> I just, you got to laugh sometimes. We are in very serious uh, times right now. Life sucks. Let's just be honest. Life sucks right now. So when we get thrown some hilarious crap like this, you just got to laugh at how absurd all of this is. Uh, but at the same time, keep fighting and get the message out there about what actually needs to be done. Um, the, the situation that you are in and, and what is happening. I mean, whether it's the Republicans or the Democrats, you see Tom Perez in the DNC, I just did a recent story on this, uh, saying that basically, oh, I have no issue with people going out to vote today. When the CDC is recommending people uh, uh, to, to cancel gatherings over 50 people, these have you seen the lineups at these, at these primaries? Like, and you have the DNC leader, Tom Perez, oh, I trust the states to, to take care of, uh, of the whole situation. Completely insane. So, no, there, is, there are no leaders right now that are actually taking this uh, or taking the necessary steps to, to deal with this properly. Now, there is beginning finally to be some response. Um, even you have you even have Republicans. I may do a separate story on this. Republicans coming out in favor of a UBI or at least some form of a UBI, maybe even just a one-time payment. Um, but it's showing you that okay. They're beginning to recognize the situation that people are actually in. But even then, with their uh, with this one-time payment or potential UBI that they're thinking about, it wouldn't start until the end of April or into May when people are living paycheck to paycheck. So, again, the response has not been adequate. And the idea that the media, CNN, Dana Bash, is focused on tone it's just unbelievable.